Hey everyone, in this lesson we're going to talk about hedgehog protein synthesis. So this will be the beginning of a series of lessons where I talk about the hedgehog signaling pathway. So in this lesson we're going to focus on how hedgehog proteins are actually synthesized and released. So to begin, what are the hedgehog proteins? Well, they are, as I mentioned, secreted proteins and they are segment polarity proteins. And in mammals, there are actually three homologs of hedgehog proteins. One is known as sonic, so uh, we call it sonic hedgehog, or SHH. Another one is Indian uh, hedgehog, or IHH. And the other one is desert, or um, DHH. Now, all these hedgehog proteins are involved in the hedgehog signaling pathway, and the hedgehog signaling pathway itself is involved in embryological development. And more specifically, uh, we see an example of this in the digit or finger, finger formation in mammals. Now the hedgehog proteins themselves are synthesized within the endoplasmic reticulum and there are actually four uh, mechanisms of release and secretion which we'll talk about in the next slide. So how do hedgehog proteins get synthesized? Well we mentioned that hedgehog proteins get synthesized in the endoplasmic reticulum and in fact, they actually get synthesized as a precursor protein of about 45 kilodaltons in weight. And the precursor protein has two portions, as all proteins do. It has a N-terminal portion and a C-terminal portion. And the important um, reason why I have these um, portions of the protein as separate um, entities is that they actually have functions in and of themselves. And in fact, the HHC or the hedgehog C terminal portion of the protein has a particular function in that it actually adds a cholesterol to the hedgehog N terminal portion of the protein. Now as this protein becomes processed within the endoplasmic reticulum, the hedgehog uh, C terminal portion of the protein gets cleaved off in an auto proteolytic cleavage process. And this leaves the HHN or the hedgehog N-terminal portion of the protein with its uh, cholesterol moiety attached. Now, the HHC portion of the protein gets exported out of the endoplasmic reticulum and degraded by pro a proteasome in the cell. Now, when we have the HHN protein with its cholesterol moiety attached, there's actually another protein known as skinny hedgehog, or SKI, which is actually within the endoplasmic reticulum membrane. And this protein actually acts on the HHN protein and adds a palmitic acid to it. So now the HHN protein has a palmitic acid moiety and a cholesterol moiety attached to it. Now, once it has both of these moieties, once the HHN has both of these uh, moieties attached to it, it actually gets exported out of the endoplasmic reticulum and gets placed into the plasma membrane of the cell. Now the hedgehog protein itself now will then be acted on by a protein within the plasma membrane known as dispatched. And there's also another protein involved in this process known as SCUBE2. And what happens is the SCUBE2 and the HHN, or the hedgehog mature protein, get attached to each other and they actually get released from the plasma membrane. And in fact, this is one of the ways in which the hedgehog proteins are released. So this is the first mechanism. So again, the first mechanism of hedgehog protein release is by the hedgehog protein with its two moieties being acted on by dispatched and the skew 2 protein attaching to the hedgehog protein and then these two proteins, the hedgehog N and the skew 2 proteins get released and that is the first mechanism of release of the hedgehog proteins. Now another way by which the hedgehog proteins can be released from the cell involves the hedgehog proteins accumulating on the plasma membrane. So if we keep releasing the HHN protein from the endoplasmic reticulum, it can accumulate on the plasma, mem plasma membrane, and then these proteins can then actually be released themselves as a soluble multimer. So they'll all 
aggregate together and then they can actually pop off of the plasma membrane and this is in fact the second way that hedgehog proteins can be released from the cell. Now the third way is similar to the second way in that the hedgehog proteins can accumulate within the plasma membrane but this time they actually can interact with a uh, protein known as nodum, and they can interact with the heparin sulfate chains on glipican. Now the heparin sulfate chains enable the hedgehog proteins to actually recruit lipoforin apolipoproteins and in this way they can actually get incorporated into a lipoprotein themselves to be released and this is the third way hedgehog proteins can be released from a cell. Now the fourth way is again similar in that the hedgehog proteins can again accumulate within the plasma membrane but this time the plasma membrane itself can actually bud off from the cell as a exovesicle and this is the fourth way that hedgehog proteins can be released from the cell and that is the last way the hedgehog proteins can be released. We mentioned that there are four mechanisms and those are the four mechanisms of release of hedgehog proteins. Anyways guys, that was a quick lesson on hedgehog protein synthesis and release. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.